So I hear you're trying to replace your crippling video game addiction with something more productive such as teaching yourself how to code. If that's true, then this video is for you. I myself am living proof that you can do it. I had an absolute monstrosity of a video gaming addiction to World of Warcraft and I managed to redirect and redivert my attention into teaching myself to code and I had a job as a software developer six months later. In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how I did it and if you do everything I tell you to do, you can do it too. So just before we dive into the hows and what's of transitioning your video gaming addiction into teaching yourself how to code, I figured first we should gain some context as to what I actually did. So if you didn't know this about me, I have approximately 10,000 or so hours clocked up in World of Warcraft altogether over the last 14, 15 years. Now to give you some understanding of what that number means, there's 8,760 hours in an entire year. And I'm just going to be completely transparent with you. When I did this process, I didn't entirely quit video games for coding. I just redirected a lot of my energy and really restricted the number of video gaming hours I was playing so that I would have time to teach myself coding and do all that stuff instead. To really see how much progress I made from 10,000 hours down to really restrictive game time, this is probably what you should aim to come under. We've got some of my Battle.net game time reports that I figured we should go through. Now these are in the three or four months leading up to when I got my job as a software developer. So this is approximately 50% of the time that I spent, you know, teaching myself how to code. So this one here is dated July 12th. If we take a look, this game time report is approximately 2,746 minutes. So if we look up how many hours that is, that's clocking in at about 45 hours a week. Now I could easily do double that. So I was really working hard to restrict my game time. If we take a look at the following week, we can see that was only 2100 minutes. So that's much more restrictive. I'm doing way better. And the one after that, you know, that's even lower. So I'm really working hard to restrain my video game time and teach myself how to code. This is for example, in comparison to some other weeks where I'm slightly more unhinged coming in at 3600 minutes, which is approximately 60 hours of game time and if we look at the one after that we've got approximately 3,000 minutes which is closer to maybe 50 something hours and if we keep going you know you get the picture another 2,900 minutes so now it's time we talk about how I taught myself how to code while moderating my gameplay and basically it comes down to approximately four things that I'd recommend you follow as well Number one is you really want to keep your hours below 45 a week. If you find yourself clocking up to about 60, that's 15 hours you could have spent coding. So you just want to be cautious of that. The other thing I'd recommend is you can also use parental controls to enforce your gameplay moderation. This can be really helpful. And once again, I did it to try to limit myself to about 45 hours a week. The other thing I did that allowed me to do both simultaneously was I made sure to allocate time for coding first. So video games became a reward when I felt like I'd actually achieve something in my learn to code process and the last thing I'd absolutely say is critical especially if you want to save yourself from dropping down to like 20 hours of gameplay a week if you want to keep it up around 45 then I'd really recommend you code fun things find a project that's as exciting to build as playing video games otherwise it's just a no-brainer trade-off and you'll find me hitting up like a hundred hours a week of World of Warcraft or something like that anyway that's pretty much the whole video I really just thought that I would share my experience to help you also moderate your game place so that you can prioritize learning to code and allocating time for that. It's a much more productive thing to be doing and I know it's unfortunate that maybe we can't be playing 100 hours a week but you know 45 hours of gameplay is still a lot you can get loads done so while it's a pretty big sacrifice it's not going to be the end of the world and teaching yourself how to code simultaneously is going to be such a great thing to do. If you want to learn more about how I taught myself programming you can check out the link in the description down below. Peace. Learning to code? If so be sure to check out the learn to code roadmap or dive straight in with these videos. That's a good one.